<laughs> How's it going, everybody? Uh, welcome back again. This is uh, actually part two to um, part one of the show that we did where we were talking about um, white people and their place in hip hop, cultural appropriation, you know, all that good stuff. So um, uh, we didn't get a chance to, to finish what we were saying last time because we didn't have enough time. So we felt it was only right to do a part two. So um, again, uh, uh, just to talk about what we was talking about before with the appropriation and stuff. Me, I just uh, feel like um, white people should know, probably should no longer be looked at as guests, just given again, um, as we were talking about in a past video about just the sweat equity that they're putting into the game. And um, by that, I mean, um, how much uh, dedication they put into the craft, um, how much they've actually studied the artists uh, from the past, um, how much reverence they just give to the history of hip hop period. And um, me, myself, I just, uh, when I think about that, I just think that it's um, for, for black people to, have so much to say about uh, hip hop history or whatever the case may be. With um, just as a whole, we don't give a lot of credence and uh, pay a lot of reverence to the history of the craft ourselves. Just to be brutally honest, you know what I mean. Like like uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people are talk about you know this person being a guest and then all this other stuff, but. Like how much respect have you paid uh, I, I, people just in general paying to um, hip hop? You know, I know a lot of kids out here nowadays who may be talking this stuff, but they, they don't even know um, artists from like my generation, you know, or don't even listen to that music. You know, if they do know them, you know, when like in other, and I, like hip hop is probably the only case where that would, uh, where that's happening, where you have like, the, uh, the uh, younger generation coming in and say, uh, just saying like, no, I don't mess with that. You know, that's not happening in country music. <laughs> that, 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 that hasn't happened in rock and roll, you know what I mean? So um, these other genres where that's not happening, you know, you, you, you get the young kids and they say, well, no, I don't, I don't rock like that. I don't rock with that no more or give it no respect no more, you know what I mean? So that's just my look on it. I don't wanna keep on, you know, uh, rattling the cage. You know, I wanna give uh, uh, y'all a chance to say what y'all gotta say. So go go ahead, Zoe. Well, I mean, I mean, it goes into like, just the positivity about the music too. It's like, there's no positive uh, messages in anything anymore. And then we wonder why we have a, 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 a a society like we do when we have the music that we have right that's more prevalent it it and it resonates with everybody could because everybody's kid listens to the most popular stuff here and there wherever they're growing up and if hip-hop is more prevalent everywhere it's it's more prevalent on a grander scale than it's ever been just because of social media and and all the, I mean, look at other countries. They know, uh, you know, artists over here rather than what they have over there. So, I mean, that's why I say it, it's 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 something that every everybody resonates with. So I don't think it's a house here or there. I think just music lives within you. So, if you're an artist, you pay homage to why you were you know brought into that craft or why you like that craft, but you're you're creating these pieces right here so that's your music regardless of what anybody else wants to say so silk what you got to say like i was saying earlier man um i'm not a type of person where you know like i say guests are guests you know there's nothing wrong with being a guest you know what I'm saying? Um, but like you guys are saying, okay, when we were kids, it was rock and roll, heavy metal, and pop emerging as the dominant music, um, branching off from disco um, 
in what was that uh, jazz, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. None of us were, as far as black people, there were black artists back then that tried to be pop and wasn't allowed to live in that pop house. There were musicians that was trying to be rock, that got the rock and roll stolen from them and put out of their house. Okay, to the point where we were not allowed to partake in any of the pale colored genres that we, as the originators of the music in itself, created R and B. Right? We built our own house because we weren't allowed to live in their houses. So we built our own house. So now here we go. They had the mansions. We weren't allowed to live there. We built our own house. Now our house is a mansion. The younger generation, which was us, was rap. And R&B did the exact same thing that pop and rock did to it. It said, hey, you can't live here. We don't want you here. You're not a part of your guest. You know what I'm saying? And you can't live here. Not only can you not live here, you don't belong here. You're trespassing. Get out. Same thing that rock did to R&B, R&B turned around and did to rap. Now, here's rap who had to live on his own under the stars and build its own house. Now, the house that rap ended up being bigger mansions than rock, R&B, jazz, and heavy metal. Now, the people who used to live in those houses are saying, I like the way your house looks. And instead of being a guest, I'm going to come take ownership of your house. Now, I don't see it's fair that they don't keep their guest status because every year they have a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? And all black people are not welcome in their house. A few select Negroes every year get an opportunity to say, I'm a guest because I've been inducted. It, it, induct, induction doesn't mean you live there now. It's just you are a permanent free roaming guest. You're, you're a friend of the family now. Oh, no, no, the, the, the Hall of Fame would be a club. The Hall of Fame would be a club. Yeah, so no, that would be the greatest of greatest. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't the, really no, go. No, no, see, that's 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 an opinion. Who who well, says that's what Hall of Fame? There's a lot of there's a lot of, of more fame. famous people that did not get inducted in the Hall of Fame, bro. Because no, but of that. But see, that's the point. The point is, is that you you would just have to do enough to be a part of the club, and that's where yeah. that's. That's so what how come how come white people just can't get, be a part of the club? Why do they have to be? Why do they have to be founding members? Well, well no, I mean, nobody said first, nobody said that they was founding members. No one said founding members. Yeah, to no, be a it, member, I mean, I mean, any no. black person that do hip hop is a founding member, just off the fact that it comes from us. It's founded no, in us. That's no, what I mean. You can't know. Can. No. Right. That. No. That's like saying. That's like saying. Like I'm one of the founding fathers of this country just because I, I, I'm connected or I, I share the same blood as one of the founding fathers. Now, what's his name? Wouldn't it be Fifty true? Tyson is a founder. Yeah, but that's not. That's that would not, be true. Fifty Tyson is a founder. Yeah, that's not. That's I, I not would, yeah, it, listen, listen, bro. <laughs> no, listen, I wasn't bro. there. All jokes aside. All jokes aside about anybody's skill. Anybody's uh, no. rap tactics, rap rap cadence, or lack of, if they still in hip hop, and they are melanated, they're 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 they are promoting something that was built by them. Point blank, period. You can be the wackest, you can be the coldest, but just like Eminem, just like Eminem stated, he understands that he's a guest in this genre and to be a good guest is to pay homage and respect to the owners of the house 
You can't. You it, might get a key. A you might be good too. enough. It was you a might even generation. be good enough to get a key to the crib. But you it's can never say you own too. the house. Because it's a lot different than what you're talking about. Oh, you what you mean? Nowadays. I mean, this that's not what I'm just saying. It, it, but that's what we're talking change. about. The whole that's what we're talking about as a whole. Mm -hmm. Going I mean, forward, the, the, everything, yes. Okay. Re relevant today. When okay. you look at hip hop, it's not the same that you're talking about when you're talking about hip hop. You're you're saying it like like your uh your 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 year, you know, that you listen, your no, your I, I I get what you're saying, Zo. Your, those, it, when you it's first like started, those occupants, those occupants, it's nostalgia to you. Yeah, yeah, they're not in the house no more. It's nostalgic to you. They're not. Mm -mm. You, it's not. It's like it's more of a business than anything now. Anything like it, for, look at look at what sells as as hip hop as actual. Hip, but hip hop, hip -hop built that. Do you, you you get what I'm saying? And you, that's they're benefiting thing too, off is, the back is, of something they never see, wanted to be in the first place. So now that they, they finally but, found, it's almost like okay, this is this is the analogy that I use. Say you were younger, right, and there was this chick that really liked you, but you thought she was ugly because all of your friends said she was ugly, right? So you snubbed her. You kind of liked her a little bit, but all your friends said she was ugly and you hung around your friends all the time. So you couldn't you couldn't show her the respect that you wanted to show her. So 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 years go by, right? And you bump into her again and she a dime. She the finest thing you ever seen in your goddamn life. And she wanted you then. Now you want her. And you're gonna try and get up with her. And she's like, no. Nah. You ain't let me, you didn't want me then. Yeah. So why yeah. since I'm hot, you want me now? I mean, that amongst other things. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. There's that's, a lot that's, of that's, other that's things. That's what yeah, it maybe, is now, dude. That's a lot like of people other in hip-hop right now. That. That's my analogy. No, let but me, that's, but that can't be because that. there's let so me. many, there's so many different attributes in that one with, if a girl is that fine, like, no, she, she's not going to go with you. I mean, unless what you mean? She wanted you when you was a kid? Huh? Yeah, let me, let me, she wanted it, you when she was a kid. Yeah, that's funny. She wanted yeah. you when now she was like old, and then I'm a grown ass man. Now she grown and she fine, and you hurt her feelings, and she <laughs> resents your ass. Now you want her, and you, you want to do it everything like you, you can to it. get her. I mean, that sounds, sounds like a that, 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 that sounds like a show. What comic song? I used to love her. I used to love her. Yeah, you know. That sounds like a Maury show. <laughs> sounds like sounds like two yeah, guys on Maury. Eric about do hip hop and give you the same analogy. <laughs> no, but here yeah, let me let me let me answer let me answer you silk on that one. Go ahead. I, I I do think it's important to say that um, what you were saying about I, I think it I think what you were saying about that even the analogy you made about you know um, that 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 chick that you didn't want finally turned it fine and now you want to so it, I guess that means that now they want to be a part of the thing now, you know, and want to be involved. So um, with that said, I, I, I think that um, those people who look at, who, who are involved to that degree, um, those are the people who I would look at in the same respect as like um, the, I guess how Vanilla Ice was looked at when he came into the game, you know, he, um, he 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 was looked at as somebody who really wasn't given the right respect to him, who was look, look looking like it was a menstrual show being put on basically you know instead of somebody who was actually dedicated to the craft um and to the history but um i i so yeah if you got those people who are looking at it like that they shouldn't be involved those should be the people that should be um exiled evicted uh kept out of the house but that for those who do, as we as we said before, like earlier in this show and the last one about the sweat equity put in, because mm -hmm. that, that's when you take the color out of the situation. And now it turns into how much have you how much have you put into it? If you if you have given your blood, sweat, and tears to the game, if you like um been right there writing since whenever and you've been a part of you know uh, the battles and 
you know, um, if you go back to our days, you go back to like uh, more of the uh, other elements of uh, graffiti and break dancing and all that type of stuff. But to show your involvement and participation, and then you keep that up and it evolves as you go. But um, somebody who's doing that, regardless of whatever the, co uh, the color is of that person, I think that person shouldn't, um, yeah, they probably gonna be looked at as guests initially, but um, just like any guest or something like that, if they if they would have put in enough money, you know, and sign over, um, sign their name on documents and stuff, then they do become a, um, a owner at some point, you know? Do they become somebody who uh, uh, helped build the history from the beginning? No, the history has already been built, you know? Yeah. But they're building forward. They're they're continuing the game. So, I mean, you have to have many pillars to to have. Yeah, there's like I mean that's what I'm saying. There are pillars if they've made it in that longevity. There's there's a few and, out there. And, and this is this somebody that I want to get a chance to focus on. Um, some somebody that actually uh, uh, Zoe he uh, introduced me to because he ain't somebody that I was listening to. Uh, beforehand, but um, there's a there's a, a artist, a white artist, um, who's uh, out in the game. His name is Tom McDonald, and um, and uh, when Zoe put me up on this guy, he's a guy who um, he actually has a lot of very good content uh, in his music. He uh, he's talking about a lot of great stuff in his music. I know he has the song, a uh, couple of songs that Zoe introduced me to. That was a uh, uh what dear rappers, yeah, uh, rappers uh what was the other one uh white boy uh, white boy and then exposure right right so um you know i got a chance to listen to um a couple of those joints just a little bit and um i did like what i was hearing i like the scope that this white guy is coming from and i think that kind of he's kind of speaking to what we're talking about today um just about their place and his perception his view you know, and um, I, I, it's something I'll never know because I'm a, a, you know, I'm a, I'm a melanated person, so I'll never know what it, uh, what it'll be and feel like to be um, a white person who's uh, trying to ingratiate themselves into the culture on, on an honest level and to not be accepted for whatever reason. You know, so I think these are some of the things and some of the issues that I think that um, Tom McDonald is speaking about. So um, for anybody out there in um, YouTube, uh, in the YouTube world who hasn't heard of him, I, I suggest you give him a listen. I think he's a, a pretty good artist just from what I know. But I do want to get um, like y'all's thoughts on just uh, some of what y'all heard from this artist uh, and some of uh, just like his scope and how he looks at things. So you can go ahead, so um, just what you think about him. Um, I mean, uh, I've fell into listening to him about maybe about two years ago no well, maybe about four years three years ago mm -hmm. and uh no he's had he has a pretty uh valid um point i mean from what he says he, he's a good it's it's, it's the way that he tells it it, it kind of like comes from a point where somebody could like relatively see it from 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 any standpoint when you look at it and that's what I'm saying. We all got to like, he's big more on like unifying people and like, uh, like we're all in this fight together. Like we, we might as well be cool. And like, it shouldn't be about, it should be about character. It shouldn't be about no race. It shouldn't be about anything. And it's, I mean, I'm paraphrasing mostly, but I mean, a lot of his songs, he has a lot of, he has a lot of, uh, I mean, positive messages. And maybe that's why it doesn't hit the mainstream the way it does, but he has a hell of a following. And I think everybody's uh, receptive of his message. So I, I, I know uh, <laughs> we, we, we got a chance <laughs> to listen to a little bit of him uh, before we started up. And uh, I definitely want to hear or um, well, give you a chance to speak your piece about it because you had some very interesting uh, uh, Let me light my cigarette up. <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, you you actually had a chance to look at the look at the videos as um as you were listening to them, 
you know, so I'm, I'm you, experienced about them. Yeah. So you got to see the so you got to see and uh you knew about them too before beforehand. So there was that, but you got to see the imagery along with the um with the music, with the lyrics. And I just want to get like your assessment on uh Tom McDonald in general. Well, all right. Hmm. The, the rapper. Well, let's let's start there. Let me let me let me start with 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 accolades so it don't sound like I'm a hater. Good rapper, good cadence, um, thought provoking. Okay, and I think that's probably in my bag. Uh, be where it ends for me. You know, um, what I do I listen to him? I have listened to him. Has he had anything that I um, like? I like the Dear America. I think the, the America thing that he did. But here's my issue. Um, we were just talking about guests, right? Mm -hmm. This, if we if we looking at McDonald um, Tom McDonald as a guest, this guest has more freedom to talk about all of the shit that black rappers are not able to speak about. Um, he says a lot of things that COINTEL Pro would make sure somebody disappeared about if they were melanated. And that's my issue. Same thing with all of the um, so-called um, pale colored rappers through uh, rap's history. The Beastie Boys used to say shit that other black rappers at that time couldn't speak about. You know what I'm saying? They was doing the brass monkey and this, that, and other. Now, mind you, now rap has degraded so much that everything is talked about. You get what I'm saying? But back then, like you were doing the, the um, like you made the, the point about um, Vanilla Ice. We had Vanilla Ice. We had MC Search. We had, um, like you said, the Beastie Boys and a few other rappers. But they all were able, even, even Slim Shady. Slim Shady's first album was about drugs, homosexuals, and killing his mom. Right? Mm -hmm. No black artist would have ever been able to come out with an album like that. The standards are different. I will. You see what I, I'm saying? I, yes. I don't want to say. Yes. I don't want to say they wouldn't have been able to come out with it. Would it had uh, in that it time received? So yeah. In that time. See. I see mean, that, but no, okay, it's a, it's a, but it's still, what it, it, it's still it, but, but see the whole thing though, and that's the crazy thing is what ifs, what if it happened the other way? What if they would have sold anyway? It wouldn't have. Because yeah, because this rappers, whole society, there's rappers but this whole there, society can, has hold on, hold on, shifted hold on. to where it's I, okay I can, to be. I can give you a few rappers that was rapping the exact same shit now. as Eminem and didn't get received or get, didn't get airplay. There, there's, there's hop sins. There's, there's um, um, oh, yeah, tech I'm nines. Sure. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Bro, bro, we have Island. those rappers. <laughs> but, but, but see, that's yeah. the whole thing is too. Is, is that's another thing is, is what, what contract are you signing? See, man, you, that, you making it. No, so, okay, so, so then you are admitting by that alone, you are admitting that there's a hand behind pushing agendas. No, well, but because see, that's, you just no, admitted a contract. So that's something contract. we already know, though, Sil. We already Everybody know. Everybody don't know that, but, bro. Well, but, well but I'm, these not, but I'm not arguing that. that fact. These young I'm not niggas arguing don't know that. that fact. No, go ahead. I'm not arguing ahead. that fact, but but what I'm saying is, it's not about race at this point. It's not about race at all. To you, it might no, it no, no. To you, it, no, because I think race is racism still alive in in, in this world. No, huh? is racism still alive in this world? Yeah, it's still. Then, yeah, it's, I'm a, not, I'm then not saying, it's going to always be about race. But no, no, because well, no, because then you have to look at when is the last time racism has affected you in the past. Then you got to look at that. If if, if you really want to get technical, no, mm, that's every day. Yeah, that, yeah, no, that's a whole nother. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, because I don't, don't want to. But I don't think the hand is the don't, don't don't yeah. don't stray away. Yeah, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. I, so I, do want I don't to think there's a hand. I know there's a hand behind it, but I don't think it's about race. It's about classism. And what sells? Money, sex, drugs, guns, ammo. And if you could persuade a bunch of people that would 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 initially whoop your ass if they were more educated on 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 voting, 
to, to improve their cities where everybody can do their own research. And today, everybody has a phone. Instead of watching a music video here or there, you know, stop it and do some research on, on, on the people that you're voting for. And then you start to make a change because everybody wants to fix it all at once, but you have to fix it in your city. And if everybody started doing that, instead of being, being blinded by all these smoke and mirrors, then it would be a better place. Then we would have, then we would have a chance. But right now we're so divided because it, it, there's so many other pillars. Every time you turn, there's something else to divide yeah, somebody wait, else. Wait, let me, let, me, let me, let me, let me bring it, let me bring, bring it back, back y'all. Let me, let me bring, bring it back, bring it back. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a whole different topic. Yeah, because I, I I get where you're going because it is it does get be it does get bigger the de- the the farther we dig yeah. down and go down the rabbit hole. So absolutely. So I, I do want to I do just want to rein it back in just to bring it back to um what Tom we were talking about it as far yeah. as like Tom McDonald and that stuff. And I I think with him in general, just him specifically. Um, I I think that he may be one of the white guys who, when when uh, what Silk was saying about how some of these guys may be um, getting in the, into the game and misusing their position, you know, um, or taking advantage of the fact that they're able to um, say and do some things that artists uh, black artists wouldn't be able to get away with. I think somebody like um, this guy in particular, Tom McDonald, is actually using that to be a, using his privilege to be able to shed a light on some issues, which, well, no, which I because, think, well, I'm no, sorry no, to cut you off, but yeah. but he's independent. He he literally made his career off of YouTube. He's a YouTube. He his music videos are only on YouTube. Yeah. You think he that? banned banned from Facebook? So, and he, he does everything. He records, he does his own, he has, he owns everything. Every, what what everything they do? Perfect. There's millions of other black rappers that do that too. No, he's what he's, but, but what basically what he's saying about is his there's, situation. there's not a machine behind him. It like, is. Like, like to the put color of his skin is the machine. But, but, but that, that, that's off, the, off but rip, that's the off point. rip, all white, off rip, all white, uh, all pale colored people who enjoy rap gravitate him because he's one of theirs. Off back, yeah. And, no, then, and, then, and the populace, I mean, and the populace of white buying um, the 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 money that's being spent is mostly spent by pale colored people. Look, even see, in all rap. See, Silk, so I'm not disagreeing with the I'm not disagreeing with the fact that you're that you're saying that he's not benefiting from his from his pigment. You know he what I mean? He has a machine behind yeah, him. Bro. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That's the, what I'm saying. He's not is, an industry that's, that's nigga. Something, no, no, I that's his, not something. His that's, girl that's records his he can videos. Help. He can't help. The he fact owns that everything. He, All he can but, do yeah. is the fact that he can't it. help it, but he showed he, he showed uh, using that fact. He we no, he, that we he black. Using, he he he's using it to a, to a, uh, to in my eyes and in my estimation, he's he's he using got, it for a good reason. Yeah, no. He, he, so, so from, what, so, from, so from what you heard, everything he said was a good thing. Yeah. As far as as far as everything as far that as, I heard, it felt it felt like a, a honest dialogue from a guy who's trying to share perspective on how he sees whether whether it's a song. How black he, people are acting. He, he did, uh, they, his no. perspective. His perspective of black people. No, I mean, his, his opinion every, and his perspective see, of that, rap yeah, and black that, people. I mean, even if that's what it was, he's allowed that just off of being a human. Like everybody, all of us have a have um, at least the opportunity to have an opinion, right? Or whatever. Opinion. Okay, yeah, everybody. You see, know here's I mean? the thing. And now, here's the thing. Now, now that's honest and, and that's true. But the 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 machine does Part not three. allow <laughs> black people to have an opinion. Even if you're a rapper, no. what happened to come? Listen, I what happened to you. every every black rapper? You on that. What what happened to every black rapper that no. had an opinion? They're gone. It, there's no comments. There's no black thoughts. There's no motherfucking agree, uh, uh, uh digital digital underground. There's no there's no yeah, digital planets. But that, and there's no there's no goddamn it um. Uh, hey, see, look now he's there's now no he's listening to all the teachers. pillars that we were talking about. Come on, about. bro. They're not in there no more. I'm not disagreeing with you. 
I'm, they're I'm, not I'm in actually there no more. Come on, with bro, the fact. then this dude, then this dude can come in here and and air out all of the dirty laundry of black rappers and and, and, and point out all of the fallacies no, and the mistakes it's not just that the they do. What is what he? Hey, it's what not is just he, the black hey, rappers. Actually, it, hey, but that's all he said, wait, though, bro. No, I mean, but wait, are you talking about dear rappers? Are the, the, I'm not, li- listen, 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 listen I'm not new. Anybody. He was talking no, about no, Eminem. Understand, understand he this, was talking about this. Eminem listen, on dear rappers. Listen, you y'all just put me on to the last two songs because yeah. after I heard the first couple songs, I was like, I'm not fucking with him no more. Because no matter, even though he's saying what he's saying, he would only be able to say that. None of us will be able to stand on that same soapbox and give that same sermon because of the color of our skin. We wouldn't get on airplay. They'll, they'll block us off YouTube. They'll block you off Facebook. They'll block you off Twitter. They, you know what I'm saying? I'm not disagreeing. They will do that. Story. But and then, 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 then somebody want to say, well, he could do it because he's independent. Okay, he's independent because he knows his uncle and his granddaddy don't approve of his message. <laughs> That's the difference. No, I, because I, guess I, what? At any time hey, got, that this rap career, hold on, hold on for a second. Look at the hold on for a second. You keep it. You always interrupt. Hold on for a second. If at any time this motherfucker decides that this rap shit ain't paying off, he could put on a button up fucking tie, button up mm-hmm. shirt, and take his motherfucking ass back to corporate America. You got tattoos all over the his complexion face. for the protection. Yeah, no, but I'm, I mean, that, that, that the same could be said for, so just because, and we don't have a lot of time left, so I just want to okay. uh, say this real quick, but um, just, just because the possibility exists that uh, if we allow any of these guys to be guests in the home, that it, because, I mean, it's happened. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's something that happened. I want them to be guests, G. It, I mean, it's subject to happen even from our own. We've had some of our own, our own color do that same flip that you're talking about. You know, yeah. I mean? they allow so, they allowed them in the house. Yeah, they allowed so, they allow they allow a so, few. I of mean, us to get I mean, key. but all I just want to say in ending is that I, I don't think that that's a good enough reason to say that we we just shut out shut out. All of the white people. No, no, because... no, no, no. I didn't say that. <laughs> now let, let's get this clear. I didn't say that. No, what I, I know, said is saying, this. I know you ain't saying that. What I said is this. Anybody that's non-black, you could be a guest. You can be a favorite guest. You can be a cousin. You might even get a key to the crib so you can come and go because we trust you. But don't mistake the fact that you didn't build this house. It's not your home. Just like we will never find home in rock and roll. We'll never find a home in country. We'll never find a home in folk. We'll never find a home in yodeling. We'll never find a home in any of the things that they deem that's theirs. No, I so why you, do we have to give up ours? We ain't got to give up ours, man. Here yeah, we got. It's we not got giving less, up anything. We got less than a minute. Get them motherfuckers a key, bro. Let them come and go as they please, but they know they they name not on the deed. That's all. We got less than a I, minute to go, Silk. So I'm gone. Uh, so it, I, it, I, I in your words, ain't, ain't nobody's name on the deed. Yeah, the bank owns that shit. Yeah. So <laughs> in closing, I just want to say this was heated. You know what I mean? And we, as you can see, we got a lot to say about this, but like, comment, subscribe. Um, this may need a part three. I don't know. <laughs> we'll Run see, it. Man. But until next time, man, everybody out there, enjoy y'all's day, man. Peace. Peace.